Always get those jitters before I go into Jaws because the wave's so heavy and so gnarly in your mind. It's like such a build up that you're like, God, do I really want to go out there? It's going to be huge. The only time you lose those nerves is, you know, when the session's done and you're riding home. has given me so much. It's the best, anything less, ain't it? It is my greatest provider. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's it right there. I can't imagine my life without the ocean. I would go absolutely nuts. This is Robbie Nash, and I'm here at Maliko Gulch, North Shore of Maui. It's the day before a big jaw swell, and I'm here with my buddy, Kai Lenny, to go and uh, have a little practice session, see what we can find out there. We're going to hopefully score an uh, early session, kind of get you know our feet wet. Hopefully, we get lucky. We loaded up the jet ski with my dad as a support crew, and thought it was just going to be a warm-up session. We headed up there, and the waves were pumping. He was sick contamination, let the questions begin like Why does it hit? Who does it hurt? You know I got no patience, so I'm gonna have to blur anything that comes to my mind. I was always told by the greats like Laird and Dave and Buzzy and Robbie that you have to take baby steps. So each time you go up there, push yourself a little bit, but don't put yourself in a situation you don't know how to get yourself out of. Blowing up faster than the price of gasoline. London, Shanghai, come to California. The rest of the world, well, I guess we better warn ya. It ain't about flying a You know, if you do throw a caution to the wind, you better hope that you don't break your back or die. Until the day I die, I give 105%. Misrepresent and you get into something rearranged for anger that I sing, but I got to maintain. No bourbon, no robbing, no post calls. My last black and mild. My goal would just to be slowly work myself deeper and get bigger, better ways and ride it more like I was surfing it versus just trying to run from the thing. It's very far and few days you get nobody out there except for Victor Lopez and his son Shawnee Lopez, you know, Archie Kalepa, Buzzy Kerbox, Robbie Nash, and you know, I'm getting towed in by him. Like, what is going on here? I had been told by Derek Dorner that as soon as the sun sets over the West Miami Mountains, that's when you're done. And you know, right after an amazing ride, the sun set and that's like, okay, it's time to go home. You had your fun. And that's kind of the way Jaws tells you you're done. My dad was having ski troubles and Victor Lopez was kind enough to tow my dad's ski. I took a moment and thought about it. I'm like, wow, I'm surrounded by some of the best watermen in the business, helping out myself and my dad and getting us in safely. It was a very memorable ending of the day. Kainoa is one of the pipe heavies. He's like the guy that you would get permission to go stand a paddle pipeline. Hey, we still gotta do a trip, huh? I know, for sure. I had been talking to him about getting him over here to Maui just because he's just an infectious, exciting guy all the time. He'd always wanted to learn a wind sport, whether it was kiting or windsurfing, I think, and you know, kiting just seemed like a perfect sport for him to try out. For the longest time, I saw them kite surf. I was like, oh, that's so sick, but never had the inkling to want to do it. I'm at that point now, like, what the hell? It was perfect timing for wind and conditions, but I had to split away to do my obligations for my sponsor, Nash. Yeah, it's super easy, and I think what I want <laughs> the to- Famous last words, super <laughs> easy. And so we got Verda to teach him how to 
Thai? Thai? Yeah. No. Yes, I'm you are. I'm supposed to be doing the hand lesson here now. She is doing the lesson. All right. I was just trying to teach she. him whatever I kind of knew, but yeah. I think I, don't I, know I should pass it over. I don't know anything. Are you okay, oh. Kaino? Or? Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, okay. I guess. Okay. okay. I guess I'll see you later, Kaino. <laughs> see ya. Okay. I'm down. The photographer we work with, his name is Eric Ader, and he's an amazing photographer. My name's Eric Ader. We're here to do the Nash SUP photo shoot. He wanted us over there like ASAP. And I'm like, oh no, dude, we can't make it. There's an accident. But you've been waiting a half hour in line already? Yeah, but it's hard to turn around because it's, it's just chaotic. Right, right. I was like within five minutes from where he was. Where's the accident at? Uh, you know where that big blue church is? Yeah. It's like that intersection is completely backed up. <laughs> the, only, the only thing you can go two different ways, but it might be really hard. Well, we're coming, we're coming. I just gotta go get gas because my truck is almost empty. You know how that thing is, 10 miles to the gallon. So you, you gotta get gas still, too. Um, can you make it to Mahalaya? Can you get out of the traffic jam and get gas in Mahalaya? <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. Call, call me when you get through traffic or when you got gas when you're on the road moving. Okay, we'll see you there. All right, bye. bye. <laughs> Now we're gonna show up like right now. I can't get here so quick. Just beat it. 150. You did. No, no, we went the back way. <laughs> <laughs> and there was really no accident. Oh, and I just texted this girl going, yeah, the guys, the main guys are late because there's a horrific traffic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whenever you have your pretty close friends around you, it always creates such a hilarious dynamic. Nice, nice, thank you, sir. All right, got it, that was good. We actually get the shoot done faster when we're having a lot of fun. There'll be like little challenges, like I bet you you can do this, and the other person like, no you can't. You know, with those guys, it's all in good fun, always. <laughs> oh no, I had fun, I had a lot of fun. I didn't know your name was Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> Did you steal a little kid's towel again? <laughs> That's a wrap. Good work, you guys. Thanks, Eric. I like it. It was good. See you next you guys time. Killed Eric, it. So some, some mean paddling and straight lines. <laughs> Finished a long day of shooting, and uh, I wonder how Kainoa did today. I think a lot of people might be turned away from learning things because they're so frightened about not looking their best. I'm not gonna not do it now. All in now, baby.